have you ever wondered how video game trays look so real like when you add trays to your game scene it looks so dull and fake well here is a tip to make it look realistic watch the video till the end to get a better idea the main reason why video game trays look so real is for the wind animation now you might be thinking of importing a animated tree to godot and play the animation well it's a very bad idea to do this because your scene will have many trees and in turn running script to play animation at each tree is very resource consuming upon this it's very difficult to animate a tree properly to avoid this we can add shader to each tree now simply adding shader to each tree will look something like this here the trunk looks very bad let's start our video it's very common logic when we see trees we know that tree leaves are the most which are affected by the wind and tree trunk is the least moved by the wind same thing will be implementing in godot let's open blender for now so this is my blender so to import the tree model just go to file click on import and select the format minus fbx click on import so this is my tree model and this is downloaded from internet here i i have four different materials but if you have any number of materials don't worry i always suggest you to have a single material for this tree and this leaves with no issues if you have multiple now just select your model under this section click on vertex group click on this icon plus icon and name it whatever you want let it be group for default sake and then click on this arrow mark click on this attribute to view our vertex painting so now we will change this mode from object mode to vertex paint once it's selected uh, make sure your brush is in of draw and it's of black color and now as soon as you start painting you can see nothing happens no worries we will change the strength you can play with the radius and strength now you can see here my tree started painting so the basic order of tree painting is something like this the trunk should be painted as dark because it's the least which is moving and the trees should be white here white means uh, remain untouched so don't do anything to that just paint your trunk as black you can switch between views by pressing 13 control 13 Now what I'll do is I want my strength to be quite less at this stage. You can paint however you want, but make sure the trunk should be black and the upper portion should be like grayish color. So uh, once you have painted, make sure all your bottom edge of your trunk is painted as black. If it's white, then it will look awkward in your game. So once everything is complete now what you will do is again you will go to object mode make sure your tree is selected so now to export the model go to files select export and make sure you select glb uh, don't select this obj or fbx because this fbx and obj does not support this vertex group paint which we have created now so select export click on this glb and locate your game Uh, and now make sure the extension is glb and also make sure that in this geometry section this vertex color is enabled this vertex color option is not there for obj and fbx inside this blender so now just click on export so now we are in godot create a new 3d scene and just drag your tree model select your tree model and make sure its translation is at zero so that it's at uh, the origin Now select your model click right click and click on editable children select your mesh and here in this material section we have four materials which i showed you in my blender so select this empty click on new shader material so this material was for my trunk again select this in the shader select this empty and click on new visual shader once you click the shader this will open up the shader editor tab so just copy and paste the code which i have given in my github link is in the description so once everything is done here uh, you need to just erase this line for this trunk make sure you don't erase this line for your leaves so for trunk i will be just erasing that line that line is not needed now again if i select the mesh here in the shader parameters 
here you will see that we have two options for texture and normal just drag and drop the respective texture so once it's done now we will be adding texture for our leaves this was the default texture we will be overriding this I will be selecting this empty, click on new shader material, again select this one, in the shader click new shader, select this one and here again paste the code, here this time I will not be changing this line and if I select again the mesh here in the shader parameter of this one, this zero was for the uh, trunk and this one is for my leaves, so here again I have two options, so I will be now drag and dropping my leaf texture sometimes you will notice that dragging and dropping uh, the normal map doesn't work so you can just load it manually so once everything is finished uh, now you can see our uh, leaves are moving at quite slower speed so to increase that you can play with all these three values so I'll be changing my sway strength to be 0.2 and this speed to be 1.2 you can see now my leaves are moving at a higher rate and you can also see here in this my trunk this is not looking quite good because here I didn't paint it as black it was like kind of grey so to avoid this what I'll do is again I'll go to my uh, trunk texture and here in the shader parameter sway face to be 0 and this will not move like it will not distort and it will just move the bar and you can see the trees are moving so if you want your leaves to be moving at a higher rate you can just play with all these three values but make sure you doesn't uh, increase this value to a higher because if you do that then everything will be messed up like you can see here it looks so odd so that's it and make sure you save your scene and then after saving your scene just import your trees to your scene so at last if you're using HTRN plugin as I'm using here so HTRN plugin does not support instancing of any 3d scenes so for that what you can do is simply select your main node of your mesh and click on this icon click on open anyway and from here what you can simply do is just select this mesh icon and then save and you can save your mesh as any of this one so by default it's plus no worries htrn plugin will recognize this and you can simply save and after saving again you can import all the settings which you have did in this material section and everything will be saved okay so this is my main scene and here i have added one more tree with the shader so let's run our scene now Okay, so here you can see my tree is moving and it's animated by wind so however you can adjust your animation speed So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you have any questions, do comment, do like, do subscribe and always have a great day.